Hi, good evening everyone. <clears throat> um, I'm Paul Di Paula from uh, the Philippines and uh, it's my third time to be here in Singapore. Uh, this is actually a, uh, an honor to be invited by the group. I'm also one of the active members of the Philippine Users, PHP Users Group. And tonight, <clears throat> um, I will discuss about Drupal and ReactJS integration, but uh, for the sake of others, um, well, Drupal is a content management system. This is an alternative to WordPress, to Explone, to uh, Joomla, and uh, so on and so forth. And <clears throat> uh, this is me. This is... Uh, my superhero character in um, my company loves to provide you a superhero character once you're in. So if you love to do uh, caricature, you would love you would love it. So um, I'm working also with the X team. I've been working with uh, the IT industry for eight years, mostly uh, uh, Philippines and uh, foreign companies. Uh, I've been doing my open source advocacy for seven years back in the days of Joomla and uh, currently working as X-Team as one uh, Drupal developer. Uh, I was also the lead developer of abscbnews.com that was uh, the largest Drupal site in Asia five years ago. It's the news on, number one news online uh, in the Philippines. <clears throat> And I have uh, three lovely daughters back in the Philippines. Uh, these are my <coughs> open source projects. Uh, I also do uh, projects for Windows Azure, um, for mostly more on Drupal projects. Uh, and I also did some Docker uh, integration with Amazon Beanstalk. And so much with that. Uh, so for the for the sake of others, Drupal is a droplet. Um, it's a it's a dwarf coming came from a uh, uh, Belgian term, which eventually becomes Drupal. So Drupal would like to say hi to you by wiggling. So this is Drupal, <clears throat> and Drupal is open. Drupal is web development. We use it mostly in web development. Drupal is social. Uh, you can use any other social networking sites to integrate with the system. And Drupal is content. When I was working with a news online publish, the large one of the largest publishing site in the Philippines. We used to <clears throat> write content from paper, going to uh, the website, from site, it will be pushed to WAP, it will be pushed to uh, print ads, to TV. So there, these are uh, multiple distribution. So Drupal is capable of that. And Drupal is scalable in terms of I mean, it's okay to run a website that runs 1,000 users, 2,000 users, but when you run a million users a day, that's a different story. And with, with that, you can, you can just go to drupal.org and search on how to implement that, and you can find it right away. But with other content management system with that big, I don't know if you can find that kind of resources. And Drupal is designed, I think 60% 60, 60 of the community members in Drupal are all designers. Drupal is everywhere, yes. Uh, if you go in the Philippines, we have, we, we are 1,107 islands. So if you go in the Philippines, uh, you need 7,101 days to complete traveling the land base and 
Drupal is secure, probably some of you will not uh, entirely uh, believe with me, but uh, in terms of Drupal reports, in terms of vulnerabilities, uh, Drupal is also one of the top that are sites that are not vulnerable for hacking. And uh, now because of that, that Drupal is secured, uh, one of one of the reason why Drupal is secure because uh, there is a 24/7 team that works with Drupal, and the only do every day is to pummel, to hack in the Drupal site, and once they hacked it, they will send it send out uh, security updates for Drupal and all uh, Drupal instances. <clears throat> uh, I'll skip this one. Okay, uh, here's a video. I just want you to hear. All right. So. Drupal can empower young people to take action for social good. Drupal can help you with your sales tax. Drupal can educate medical professionals. Drupal can keep us employed. Drupal can help independent artists find their audience. Drupal can make your music better. Drupal can revolutionize citizen science. Drupal can help you get your yoga on. Drupal can deliver personalized content for every user. Drupal can make sense of your e-commerce data. Drupal can connect people that are willing to contribute. Drupal can help Linux events promote open source throughout the world. Drupal can visualize health data in your county. Drupal can help build the new internet. Drupal can reunite you with your old college roommate. Drupal can help me select my favorite bottle of wine. Drupal can raise $50 million for charity in one night. Drupal can be fast. Drupal can build complex data models without code. Drupal can run on Raspberry Pi. Drupal can eliminate unfair pricing in the credit card industry. Drupal can do virtual worlds and virtual reality. Drupal can do everything you can dream of. Drupal can help you build anything that you can dream of. And if I may add to that, Drupal can also reunite uh, parties on war, rebels, government. I can attest to that because back in the Philippines, uh, I actually worked with the World Bank. And one of the projects of the World Bank is to provide better education for the the in Mindanao, that's actually the place where there are terrorists. I mean, some of the people say that there are terrorists there, and most of the the kidnappings are being done there. And I'm one of the advocates. Actually, I'm part of the programmers without borders. We travel in that far area in the Philippines. That area are uh, there are war conflict right now. But where World Bank is uh, helping the the Muslim brothers and sisters there to provide better education because for for twenty for two decades there war conflict and imagine this guys I mean uh, I'm just sharing in my heart I'm just expressing my heart out when I was there twenty percent. Only 20% are graduating in high school. These are the students that they always experience war. And Drupal, we bring the, 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 the education platform there to, to enhance the education so that the government can, can build peaceful and better education for them. And we travel there. Uh, actually, uh, <clears throat> when I'll... Uh, on the, on, the, on the fifth, I'll be traveling there again to conduct a training. Uh, these are actually composed of uh, rebels, government, representative of, of some private organization, and we're teaching them how to build uh, Drupal, how to build websites, how to build their uh, livelihood program using uh, Drupal and <clears throat> that's why we have this because we promote superhero advocates regardless of 
the area regardless of uh, if there's conflict, regardless if there's no business or companies that will support the advocacy. And uh, this is a symbol that Drupal community is a strong organization that is not only force and then they're driving force not just money or anything but I mean the heart to share information and uh, and that's thank you so much for listening to that um, so back to the topic uh, Drupal I think seven months ago from the information week website they released this that NASA migrated their 250 websites from different proprietary to Drupal. Um, so most probably because they trust Drupal at this point. Al Jazeera is also using one of their platforms. We're using Drupal. It's uh, uh, one of the most popular news online site in the Far East. Examiner.com, the largest Drupal site. Um, CNN.com is uh, the lead developer of this. is a friend of mine in the Philippines. And this one from the World Bank, we did this a sanitation hackathon uh, two years ago. Um, uh, this one is also uh, uh, a website where to help the, the distribution and of aid in Haiti during the disaster. And currently, we're actually, my ex team is working for a Fox project. And uh, RD here uh, is part of that. And uh, two years ago, I also did this project. Uh, I worked with the Homeland Security in the US. Uh, we worked to package, because in Drupal, there's a distribution. And I did this to, what I did is to, package this so that when you go to drupal.org you just download it and install and that's it you have the platform and the whitehouse.gov is built on Drupal the very reason why I'm here is to talk about uh, Drupal and React.js um, <clears throat> uh, we coined uh, React.js because we because of this project. Editor is is a distro. Uh, if you're if you're not familiar with distro, it's like uh, when you when you download when you download a Drupal core and install it, it looks boring. It looks <clears throat> plain. It looks black and white. And if you're not not a technical person, you will just shut down your computer and leave. I mean, that's actually the perception I got from from people that I know. And so what I did is we created a distribution so that when you install Drupal, it's the things that you, uh, that you want to install so your site will look not boring. It's, it's already installed there. <clears throat> and um, I integrated React.js to work with the with the X editor. So now let's, I will try to demonstrate. So this is just a development, uh, uh, I mean when you develop a Drupal site, uh, 
So you download this distro. So everything's in there, and you don't need to worry about the <coughs> the CK editor not integrated in the site. And this one is the distro that we developed. That we developed. Uh, and uh, the main features of this is it's actually based on Panoply, but uh, we did some little tweakings. So as part of the the Panoply, you can basically uh, these are the regions where if you want to uh, to move around this block, you can do so by using. If you want to put that in that side, you can also do that. So that's actually one of the what? Okay, so it's still a little buggy, but uh, when you have a, a wider screen, you can do that. So. You can move around your blocks from one place to another. And <clears throat> on WordPress, I think uh, there's a distro that also does this, but you need to pay for that, a plugin. So you can move around your blocks or your plugins or your, or your extension. Um, and you can just hit save if you want to change the blockings of your homepage. So that's one. Uh, the the wonders of X editor and one uh, one more thing is if I if I click this one the editor is already popping out so you did you don't need to load everything I mean if you want to change something like for example I just want to add my name here I can just uh, there's a save icon in the toolbar. So if I save that, it's already saved. So you don't need to... Uh, because traditionally, when you edit something in Drupal, you go to edit, it loads all the whole page, and sometimes it takes a long time to load your CK editor. But uh, with, 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 with X editor, you can just click that, and change the color of the text to bold and then save and you're done is it okay yeah. okay so that's it's just one of the features um, And uh, now let's go to React.js. <clears throat> According to their website, so this is the React.js uh, website. It's actually, uh, React.js was developed uh, two years ago by Facebook team. And they've just released that last year for public consumption. And um, the main feature of React.js is to. Uh, are you familiar with with uh, model view controller framework? That you have a model, you have a view, and you have uh, and controller. And now, uh, React can actually become your view. So, 
But React here is actually a standalone. Um, instead of model view controller, it merged it to become a view. So it will now a view controller. So no more con no more uh, no more view no more I mean no more model and uh, just view. So what I did is Drupal when it displays data or or content. It uses a PHP template to generate the markups, but in this case, what I did is I recreated the template that is based on uh, on React.js. So this is actually uh, the code looks like. It's a bit odd to see. Something like this in a, in a, in a JavaScript uh, React that render and then HTML tags. So um, <clears throat> if you're going to 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 uh, to internalize is usually when you render, you basically just put HTML tag, but uh, uh, It's an ad because <clears throat> this very this very script is actually it will it will trigger a virtual uh, DOM. So that's also that's one of the feature of, of React.js that it it is one of the most fastest generating view framework in in the JavaScript framework. So. Back in Drupal, <clears throat> I actually created a, uh, a module in Drupal.org. It's called My React JS. So when you download this, <clears throat> uh, when you download this module, you can basically transform your homepage to become uh, uh, reactive. I mean, uh, reactive. -ish. <laughs> so by default, when you go to your homepage. <clears throat> What you see is something like this. And uh, when there's a new content being saved, it will just, uh, you just need to refresh this to, to see the, the changes in the, in the, on the homepage. But with React.js, what we did here is, uh, if, I am some, if, I'm, if I'm the administrator and I'm opening uh, other browser in the next, in other computer, uh, you will see that it will just pop up the content right from there, right from the browser. Because there's a running, uh, we call it as Ajax pooling. Uh, when we say pooling is that, uh, there are actually two types of pooling. First is uh, short pooling. That means that you provide an interval. So, it will fetch the information like every two seconds or every five seconds. So that's, uh, that's what we call a short pooling. And there's another one. Um, uh, it's, what we, it's what you call a universal pooling. That means that there's in every milliseconds probably it, it runs every, I don't mean not seconds, but milliseconds. So on, on a performance issue, that's actually not good. So we prefer to to use the short pooling. I mean, we provide an interval of pooling the data. <clears throat> and this is how it looks like. Huh. I have no internet. Okay. 
actually I'm connected to the eBay guest. But uh So basically, <clears throat> what it's supposed to do is to list down my all my articles from here. So this sample article should should uh, should be showing in this page. Basically, I'm uh, I'm pulling the data using a JSON JSON content uh, that Drupal provides. So the question, how does Drupal generate the JSON file from a content perspective? Uh, we are actually using uh, views. This is how we, uh, we create displays using, using GUI. So uh, for, for the lazy or for those who don't want to code anymore and just build those information or build those blocks using using user interface so you can just go to views and uh, this is this is actually the 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 views that i did to to generate or to provide the, the json version of my content and this is how it looks like <clears throat> callback nodes so it's a it's a json format of your content that you created <clears throat> And I only have one, so I feed this to the React.js so that um, it pulls data from my uh, from this page supposed to be. So if we are to inspect uh, the markups. Notice that <clears throat> it means that it pulls data from that JSON file. So every time that you create content, uh, it pulls data every two seconds. Because that's actually what I, uh, what I have uh, specified by default. And <clears throat> let's check the, how it looks like in the code.
<clears throat> so the URL that I pull data is slash node slash JSON. That's actually you can access that through my Drupal site. And I uh, specified 2,000 milliseconds. That's equivalent to two seconds. So it pulls data every two seconds. And um, if we tr if we try to decipher or to to cursory check the code. Uh, you've noticed that there's a JSX. <clears throat> that means that it's a JavaScript uh, JSX is a script that uh, delegated to the virtual DOM of the ReactJS. And, <clears throat> and if you've noticed the code, um, it's similar to Ajax or or a jQuery, and you can also combine the two. So what it does is it basically fetching the data from a server in a person in a representation of the node of the JSON URL. So the URL there is that one that this props that URL. It's just getting the information that I provided in the React. Uh, In the React in the render, and <clears throat> so get initial state just to initialize data, um, and component will mount. This is where you will. Uh, this is the area where you will know if if you can fetch the data or not. If yes, then it will load the content, and it gets the information. It gets pool if, it's, if you're using pool, uh, short pooling or not and this is the render it's what to display in the browser so basically I'm just returning an h1 contents and the content list where I provide those data <clears throat> and from my content list this content list is actually a component Meaning, uh, it is also uh, a display in a representation of a view. So a content list has a markup of div, class name, content list, and the comment notes. That means that these are the information that I'm getting. So the comment notes is actually, uh, it, it, it uh, consists of title. Uh, title, body, and image. So that's because that's the only content uh, for the meantime that I'm getting. So if you want to get all the data in your Drupal content, then you can uh, you can change that. If you want to add the published date or the status, you can just include that information in the render uh, variable. And I also did another display. It's what we it's what I call comment. So a comment composed of a comment author, which is the title and the image and the body. So and this is where I pull the data. Anyway, um, I will I will try to publish this on GitHub, the the presentation I did, and and hopefully uh, the the error will, will will gone away. It's supposed to display the contents here, in in that manner the the the, the, the title, body, and the image, and <clears throat> yeah. Um, oh, it's still running. It's now 235. So you can actually stop that by issuing a, a, a switch 
switch off of the pulling. And <clears throat> yeah, um, that's all for now. And uh, I hope, I mean, for my short presentation, um, at least it, it, it gives you some insights. I mean, I know that it's ReactJS is also wide, and uh, I hope you, you like it. Do you guys have any other questions for Paul? I find ReactJS to be very interesting. It's like it is thick. people have been going for MVC kind of approach to, to separating concerns, right? But for ReactJS, it's gone the other way, as in a function that actually has HTML inside, which is kind of <laughs> blows my mind. But actually, it renders really fast. And my understanding, ReactJS, the team is working on a nat React Native. Which is yes. a uh, which is a, a runtime you can basically build mobile apps, um, native mobile apps with ReactJS, which is really cool. Um, it's something that maybe we should look into. Um, uh, yeah, so just uh, Paul, do share your, your yes. link and then uh, on, on GitHub, and then okay, we can then uh, let you guys know. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. Um,